We're looking at every broad can fashionista and finding shirts for this guy coming up after this. All right, here is every whoa, broad can fashionista, and I had the new one today. I got the two new ones. I waited forever for them to be the good price that Walmart has. I found them on walmart.ca. It's the first time well, Canada had seen them on Amazon, but they're $16, and uh, I said I was going to wait. I also said I wasn't going to need more fashionistas, but I do collect all of the Ken fashionistas for sure. Now, I always keep them in their own clothes, and it's kind of a shame because uh, I don't get to use the stuff. And uh, I know a lot of people prefer the broads, that the broads are their favorite Ken, but it, it's not mine really. I, I, I do keep the broads and uh, the slim guys in separate boxes from the original size. I think it's just because I love the original body, the original Ken body so much and it's so, I don't know, I just think it's a really cool looking body. However, lately I've been obsessed with Max Steel bodies and I put Ken heads on them. I put everyone's heads on them, ever after I heads on them sometimes to fit in with my Wild Hearts crew girls who have bigger heads, but uh, this guy, this Ken, this Vitiligo Ken, uh, he right now is, I guess, he's my favorite Ken head, and he's a perfect match for this Max Steel body, and this is a fully articulated, so it's like a made to move. I am excited about getting the new um, beefier, muscular, uh, made to move body which isn't the same proportions it's kind of the same proportions as superman and batman it's not the same body which i was pleasantly surprised to see it has articulation in the chest right there and uh i'm assuming it has uh, better leg joints because the superman and the batman kens had uh, an elastic band for their hips and it did not work very well so I'm really excited at getting my hands on one of those but uh, I don't think it is going to replace this now uh, the hands and these electronics on this body is kind of funny but I uh, like the hands are too big and sometimes that prevents you from getting clothes on and stuff but mostly it's his biceps and his torso size that keeps but we are going to look and see what uh, which of these fashions are going to fit I kind of already know which ones do and which ones don't I have experimented but mostly first of all we have have to open up uh, this new broad can. I also have uh, this guy too, but I'm not going to take time to open him today. I guess I have to figure out some kind of other video to open him in. Those shorts look amazing to me, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll save all of that for the next time. Okay, I'm going to lay these guys down for now because otherwise we're just going to have some kind of domino toppling effect that is horrific. And we don't want to, we don't want to smash these up so much so here's a pile of broad cans and let's open the new one which he's the bun guy i didn't even realize you wouldn't think they would bring back the man bun but they made him they made him hippie so paisley is kind of a, a hippie it's not kind of it is a hippie fabric and uh, here he is. This is elastic. All right. It's an elastic waisted shorts. However, these um, are too big usually for uh, for any Kens. Now, something, see, because I keep these on here. Now, I used to have a wall, a wall where I displayed all of my Kens and I could pull them off. I would be able to see. I could use them like mannequins as a fashion display. Now, I might have to do that again, but cave club has taken over that wall because i love cave club and i don't know i mean they're discontinued but i like to bask in how adorable they are these sneakers these are 80s high top awesomeness i love those we have two they're falling anyway two paisleys together this outfit looks uh nah. 
it's that whole, I don't know, 2000s thing that has resurfaced. The early 2000s are back with this whoa, monstrosity. However, they've made it a little more, um, I don't know how to describe it. I do not like uh, the fashion today, and that's probably because of my age. <laughs> I guess we all get to that age where we don't understand what the kids are doing and however I could do this top separately from these shorts easily um, I mean I wouldn't buy these I wouldn't buy either of these things these sneakers however well I wouldn't buy them either but they're really cool I would buy them in white I would buy them in black gray silver <laughs> okay let's uh if you don't know what a curvy body looks like, I'll show you right now. And uh, it's not curvy, it's a, it's a guy. Curvy with a K. That is what I'm going to call this video. Curvy cans with a K. And that is what the body looks like. And you can see that the proportions aren't, I mean, well, no, I guess the chest isn't as big, and so you need to find the right pieces. Let's see if, uh, and by the way, they have the same size feet. Um, small cans, big cans, curvy cans, petite cans, slim cans, and broad cans, they all have the same size feet. Let's see if these shorts can fit. Let's do that on the Max Steel here. And we have to compare that new head with the old head. It does look funny. Ah, uh, these, these, these fit. Sometimes uh, the elastic ones do fit. I think there's one other pair of pants from all of these Kirby's that fit on a regular Ken and fit on, of course, the Max Steel. Um, the Max Steel body does wear regular Ken clothes if it can fit over his thighs. So that's the problem. And mostly it's sporty attire. Well, um, this is a nice pair of uh, pajama boxers for sure. And uh, I would wear these as a that if I wore pajamas, but uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that they do seem to be versatile. They are a little big. And then shirts. Now, t shirts you have better luck with on these than you do. Oh, and I was going to put pants on this guy, and I didn't, he doesn't have any pants to wear. I guess he has to wear those pants. And sometimes the t shirts will fit over his biceps, sometimes um, they won't, and then sometimes it'll do up in the back, and sometimes it won't but it looks like this time we have a totally fitting shirt and who wore it better i can't i can't uh i can't say that he doesn't wear it better he wears it better um i mean he he, he does he does fill it out it makes it look good it makes him look even bigger doesn't it and this shirt it's some um, funny color combination the blue piping uh, 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 and then they made it a blue stitch hem at the bottom, I guess, yeah. And the sleeves are also hemmed in the blue. It's an okay shirt. Uh, I like it. I like it enough. Maybe he can pull off both pieces better. And he's definitely... I gotta put these sneakers on. Gotta see. Let's just see how he looks with the whole outfit on before I jump into... Have you seen these sneakers before? I don't know if I've seen these sneakers before. The Made to Move Max Steel has thinner ankles. He's not getting that shoe on though. The feet are basically the same, but I'm not squeezing it in. Is there a left and a right? There's not a left and a right. And, oh, I had to squeeze it in. But those are pretty sweet sneakers. Can we look at them again and see they're the same on both sides? Where have we seen these? Maybe they were the third Barbie Looks guy had those. And how does he look in this? You know what? He's, he's pulling it off better. I don't know why. Maybe it's his coloration. Maybe it's because he doesn't have the silly haircut. I can say that. I've had a man bun before. And 
I, I regret it. And I'll probably have a man bun again because I'm kind of growing my hair out. But only for convenience, not for style. Like if I was exercising or really sweating or going to the... He, uh, he, oh, going to the beach. I don't want to really be seen in public, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Okay, um, I think he looks better in the outfit. I have no idea why. Maybe it's his electronics. Maybe it's because he's just super cool. All right, and this guy, his face looks a little goofier this time. I don't know what it is, but he does look really different. This is probably the worst painted Ken face that I've ever seen. I mean, not with the flaws. No, like when it's a uh, wonky eye, that's really the worst. But I don't know, it's so dark. Yeah, it just, it looks weird. So that is the difference. They are the same guy. They are the same skin complexion. Oh, wait. There's another question. Well, that's so funny because I have taken most of the heads, even out, off of my Fashionista collection, and put them in a bin. But I guess I don't like this head so much, and it's a perfect match to Max Steel. But... <laughs> I think the truth is, I never want to use it. However, I could make them into ninjas. Oh wow, that is true. And I do have some dragon tattoo bodied max steels. So that is what I might do. And I just might make them, I might make them samurais. Okay, there's a thought. But pretty much the same guy. Definitely an improvement on the face paint, even though that guy looks goofy and like, looks like people I know. Right here is, here is a shirt. The, uh, these jeans, I have tried them on the Max Steel body, way too big to fit. All of the pants are. This shirt, it doesn't fit over the sleeves, but that's a pretty cool outfit. He was cool. I think he was the first broad fashionista with somebody else, maybe this guy. This guy was one of the first to, um, I see this guy as Asian. I'm not sure most people do. Something funny about him is his pants don't fit on him. So I had to like, you can see where the white, here's a place. You can see where the, the stress was put on pulling the pants over his calves because I mean, the waist is huge and it fits him, but, uh, the, the legs are too slim, they couldn't fit over his legs. And uh, these boots are amazing. So I should be putting those on all the time. I mean, I don't like them with this outfit, but they could be really cool in the right leather situation. This is the other guy who was also one of the earlier ones. This shirt barely fits on them. It's it's like when you're trying to put on, you know, clothes that don't belong to the right doll. So my guess is that they originally made this shirt. There was, something went wrong anyway with the measurements. This is way too tight on him. And yeah, it just, it doesn't make sense. You have to really pull it and squeeze it together, especially at the top to get it on. But uh, the sleeves, those aren't go I should know if it's not fitting around his torso it's not going to fit on the max steel so these sleeves aren't going to go on my max steel body either he also has this very odd face and it's probably the placement of the eyes anyway I think it's cool because he's a cool character doesn't match the skin tone of my max of my max steel I should have uh We'll have to do a, a made to move body video for you guys out there. I'll have to get all the made to moves. I did that. I have I have done that, but I'll have to do an updated version of getting all the made to move Kens together and then comparing the skin tones to see which ones fit. I'm not sure if this guy fits. Do we have two of them? There is a unbalanced amount of uh, darker complected guys in the curvy range. Uh, I don't know what that's about. They just tend to make them bigger for some reason. I guess they stayed with one character too. I'll show you that in a second. So this guy is this hip hop hoodie. This guy had a different body type. Um, this shirt, this shirt, 
Um, these sneakers are kind of, oh, did I show you his shoes? Oh, and I didn't show you his shoes. These are, these are nice shoes. These are an older shoe, but I like those and those could be versatile. And then I have many of these Bodhi shoes, Vans kind of shoes and they're white those are useful this is a more modern shoe which i don't really like the, the more modern sneakers i'm a more classic guy however these are in silver and they're ultra modern so uh, i could see that working especially especially with this guy with his he just looks futuristic from me i kind of think that everyone will have some kind of vitiligo in the future and uh with his silver on his arm and these shoes would look amazing with him all the time so that is something i might just have to strip down all of these ken ken with a curvy ken with a curvy with a k kens and then this this is definitely one of my favorite pieces i have stolen borrowed this sweatshirt before because now normally I think uh, hoodies without sleeves are ridiculous but um, I don't know recently in recent years I've kind of liked them mostly I like them in doll world because you can get these on almost anybody it's an oversized sweatshirt it has no sleeves you don't have to worry about the arms this is a great fit for my uh, my Ken so I'm gonna take that off and he's got Converse with a case on those are pretty sweet I like those and uh, I also should remember to take this shirt off because it's useful and these these shorts they would have been fun if they fit but and I like that they're an elastic waist but they're not gonna fit they're not elastic elastic they're not enough elastic waist I will give them a try though but I don't even think I can get them to stay up. Um, the Max Steel waist, his, um, he really does fit um, any kind of, well, not any kind of short, but definitely a cotton stretchy athletic short. You're always gonna be able to get those on here, but um, jeans might have thinner legs. All the pants actually in Kenland have thinner legs except for the 80s ones. I gotta get my hands on more 70s and 80s clothes for the Max Steel bodies because the Kens were broader back then. So we can wear them. Like, I guess they are staying up a bit. That is an option. I guess they are elastic just enough. Now it's a silly, again, welcome back to the early 2000s color block crazy. I don't know what's going on in fashion right now with, with this and all of the, bright neat colors I don't know what it is I love bright colors um, in fashion I just I don't know what it is however he's he, this guy I guess I guess you know you're athletic your body makes everything look good so he's looking great in that and uh, these actually are totally usable and they're kind of narrow enough so that they fit well I'm uh, I'm liking those I think I do have a pair of swim trunks for Ken in the same color though so good and I have to remember to try those shoes um, how about I do it now even though I love the yellow ones so much oh. let's uh, let's get these on are these single-sided or just one-sided yeah, I have a pair of uh, little low-top Converse kind of things that are in silver that are one of my favorite pairs of sneakers to put on Ken and especially him. But yeah, these look fantastic with his robot arm. So cool, space boy, love it. All right, this shirt, okay, this is a keeper. So this one we're gonna get. Oh yeah, is this the nice one? They make really nice versions of these that are thicker. Okay, this isn't the nicest version, but I do like these low top standard sneakers. There, I, you know, we definitely have lots of those. Oh, and there's no cut in the back, that's cool. But I don't think it's the thickest one. There's also this real thick one that's all hunky and chunky, and I love that one. And then this shirt, that's definitely a keeper. Um, the pants, definitely too narrow, and uh, I think, they were so narrow that yeah they um 
they busted a seam. And in fact, I don't even think they busted the seam. I think they actually tore along the stitching, putting these off and on. So that is a common problem with the curvy can pants. They don't know how to make them. Now this shirt, this shirt is not going to fit. Um, yeah, cause you can't get his hands in these sleeves. I don't even think the arms would fit in the sleeves. And to be perfectly honest, I don't, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to put that on him anyway. However, Barbie might look really good. I find this pattern very feminine. I think Barbie could pull that off. These pants are going to be way too loose on him because they're stiff material and there's no elastic. And there was something in these ones. These ones I have tried before. These are just way too loose. You'd think that they would, but there's no elastic to the waist. It is just sewn and uh, soft. Yeah, unfortunately, because Heather Gray shorts are one of my favorite pieces. I believe, yeah, I've tried on these shirts, so just, you're gonna have to take my word for it. None of them fit on. Did one of them? I think one of them I could get on um, the body, but uh, it didn't, uh, I couldn't do it up. You know what, this one maybe. Oh, so here's the guy who they made twice and uh, they made him only curvy until I think, oh, until recently when they did the 60th, was it 60th or 7th, I guess it's the 60th anniversary of Ken. Do I know Ken? Do they have his number? Um, 61, so whatever, whatever, however many years that was ago. And then they made this guy as Ryan and they made him on a slim. So, which, he went to two extremes. We haven't had this guy in a regular head body. You could rebody. Oh, and something else I should mention. The standard uh, Kens that come out, they can only move side to side because of their peg system. But the, both the curvy, um, sorry, the broad and the slim Kens, they have um, a whole complete range of motion in their neck because they have a new peg system. However, they, uh, for the standard Kens, they just move back and forth. And then, oh, and then there's these shoes. Did I skip over any shoes? Yep, yeah, I skipped over his shoes, which are boat shoes. Those are pretty nice, and they're in brown. Super versatile. Uh, showed you those. These these ones, these Timberlands, uh, those are nice. I, I, I like those. They're bark boots, very usable, very versatile, very utilitarian. And then we have another pair of these, these pants. I have fit on a regular can, a can like this. Did I pull these out? I did a video where I tried curvy can clothes. Uh, curvy can, I'm gonna call them curvy can clothes. Um, the old 80s body, 70s, 80s body. Let's see what date's on this actually. Um, 19... Does that say 65 or 85? I'm gonna have to. If they had a broader can since the 60s, does that say 68? Or does that say 80? <laughs> Man, let's try it. Let's try a different one. See the craving? You probably can see better than I can. Night. 66? Do I have a magnifying glass? I have a magnifying glass around here. Oh, you already know. You're probably screaming. Screaming at the computer. Are my glasses not strong enough? Can I not see? 1968. Yeah, that's not an 88. That's a, that's a 68. So they've been making Ken way more muscular for longer than I even realized. So they made them pretty broad. Actually, this one, wait, that's a slimmer. That's why I like these. That's why I tried these on. These ones aren't as broad. Yeah, this is this is actually the body. That's so funny. It's so funny I used these and not the 80s can. This is so much like the body that they use today. 
which I guess I'm gonna have to show you in another video. And then Ken of the 80s has a way thicker, thicker body. Okay, so for these pants, I have put on an 80s Ken, and I put them on, uh, and he was a Ken from Ken and the Rockers, and Ryan and the Rockers, and he was looking real good in these, so I'm assuming they're going to fit on the Max Steel body really well. Let's uh, check it out, pull these down. I guess I'm keeping all of these clothes that I know fit on my, even though... <sighs> these patterns i don't know i don't I, I, I don't know about that at all okay these are soft and stretchy and versatile and pajama-y and hideous pattern but and a little too loose in the waist but they make comfortable pajamas why are there so many pajamas i don't even wear pajamas i don't even like pajamas i mean i think i do like pajamas but I just don't wear them. I do like to wear comfy clothes though. I would just prefer that these were gray. Okay, so it is kind of loose. I'm kind of like balancing it on his waist. It's not a tight fit, but I mean, they do fit. They're comfy, cozy looking drawers and um, they kind of match. Yeah, you know, it's kind of the same blue. Not really, but on camera, it looks like it is. Um, yeah, yeah, you can wear that. He's got lots of pajama wear. And, uh, oh, and last, but certainly not least, it's probably the best fitting top. And it also plays homage to Ken's birth date, 61. And a sleeveless tank top, especially in a more stretchy material, you're gonna... You're gonna have no problem. It's it is it's even kind of loose doing it up. I love that part. And yeah, that's that is a go. This outfit together is a no-go, in my opinion, but I love that shirt. And uh, yeah, we can give them better pants. Did we get any good pants today? Um, no, not really. I don't want to put the green ones, I don't want to do that color. 90s color blocking with them but uh yeah well that's it i don't know if this was really a video about broad can or more about my love of max steel bodies but uh or especially these articulated super ones uh anyway i hope you had fun playing dollies again action dollies with me gi joe with me today uh like comment share and subscribe i'm going to try these two t-shirts on him at the end we'll see you next time yeah i guess i'm not gonna put the clothes back on and i might have to steal all of their shoes or do you know what i i should do i should put everything back on the wall i should do a ken wall however there's going to be too many kens for me to be able to use them as mannequins to show because there already is. I ran that why I took them down is because they I had too many Ken Fashionistas to fit on the wall. So it kept getting tighter and tighter and tighter until it fit. Okay, so here's a see I love camouflage, one of my favorite patterns. However, in these 90s 2000s colors, I don't know. However, again, it looks real good on him. He uh, he can pull it off for sure. That is great, and it fits him. It's not too tight. Nothing worse than when you're doing up the shirt and it doesn't fit properly. It just doesn't. I don't. I don't want it to be too too tight. Stressful tight looks ill-fitting, and just snug enough. These fit him like a glove, and that is awesome. And then we can do some kind of nautical look with this one. Is this one? This one's a, this one here. I'm pulling a little bit tighter. Not pulling as tight as that one guy who is broad and came with the shirt that's too small for him.
but yeah, it's a little tighter. But this is this is definitely a winner. Probably the best piece of the day. I don't know. I like that. This is this is a bit too colorful and crazy for me with the stars and the purple and the orange combination. Oh, I might have to say that this is my favorite piece from today. Can I look at these things? Yeah. Oh well. Besides these yellow sneakers. Oh, and this this piece is so good. Well, I mean, I love New York, and I love the color yellow, and I love that this fits on them, and I love that it looks cool on, and I still haven't put it on them, so I better do it. But uh, it is kind of a silly piece in, in totality when you put it all together. Yeah, we got to put that on. Anyway, this is this is definitely a winning top. Fits some really nice striped, pretty basic. A little more, a little more than basic, but the most basic. And then this one, I don't like logos, so yeah, that's a, that is a main piece. And this was a solid. And then two great pieces that work are the two. Well, the BMR uh, the sweatshirt that's awesome, and then the wait, there's a black. It's the black one, BMR. The two hooded sweatshirts that came with said looks. The two, the two, the two looks. Oh, the three looks tank tops. Those are awesome too, and I think they all fit on steel bodies. But see, that's a pretty awesome sweater, and if it is going to say something, at least it's done plainly in New York. With shorts, could we, we could put those? That's come on. Could put these. Those are, am I going to go get some of his other shorts? What I want to put on him are these shorts. These look so nice. I can't tell if they're a stretchy material or they are a thick, um, um, more like a denim. But they're heather and they're gray. They're such a cool gray color. I love this. I don't know. People really complained about this shirt when it came out, and I don't get it. The only thing that I think that shouldn't be printed on is the K should be an apple K, right? But it's kind of better that it's not because it would peel off. But I don't know. I love overlock stitching on shirts, and I don't know. And I don't even like like jerseys or anything. But there's just something. It's cool. It's a cool shirt, and that head is cool. And this is all cool. It's all cool. Fun. Oh, the yellow sneakers, yellow top. Do I have purple shorts? Purple is uh, yellow's complementary color. Look, and you thought you were done playing, but no. We're going on. We're continuing on. I wonder if I should upload this video tonight or save it for tomorrow. So if you want to know how the curvy shorts fit on a regular can, they fit like this. I mean, when they're not stretchy or have any elastic, you can't even keep them up. But let's try to... Could I cinch it with a belt? Let's try to make them stay. I don't like the length. I find these are a little too long. But as you can see, these colors do bring out the best in each other because they're on opposite sides of the spectrum. And also, Easter. They like to do that for holidays. They'll often use um, the colors Easter, purple and yellow, uh, Christmas, red, green, opposite sides of the spectrum. Oh, are there? I don't even know if there are any other holidays. Orange and blue. Are there any? Are there any holidays for orange and blue? Coolness 